Hello YouTubers, it's Michelle and I'm back today with a haul. Um, this haul consists of some things that I got off of eBay and I have a rack from a friend on YouTube. Her name is Scrapping Pickanese and she's actually a local friend. She comes to uh, some crops down at the uh, local scrapbook store and I met her through down there. She's a really sweet girl. So uh, I'll show you what she gave me. First of all, I'm going to start with uh, the items that I purchased on eBay, and I got these from the seller, and uh, it's your scrapbook supply store, and I think they used to go under the name RGSS, but now I think they're just a store on eBay. I don't think they go by that name anymore. So, uh, they were having a big sale. A lot of the stuff was on sale. So I picked up some of the Tim Holtz color washes and I got one in string. I got it in denim. And meadow. And I got it in butterscotch. So I picked those four colors up. I've not tried the color washes yet. Um, I'm hoping that they kind of uh, work like maybe Lindy Stamp Gang or something. I'm um, wanting to use them just to dye stuff, so um, I'm thinking they should probably work for that purpose. And then I also picked up the 6x6, six six, uh, let's see, Echo Park for the record paper stack. I really like this collection. Really cute papers. It's an older line. They actually had the 12 by 12 uh, kit, I think, and I'd seen it like a few days before I purchased my stuff, and it was like for a really good deal. And then when I went back to do my purchasing, I guess they'd sold out, so I had to go with the six by six. Then to go with that collection, I got, um, let's see if these are stickers or if they're cut out. It looks like they're, yeah, they're stickers. I got the 12 by 12 sticker sheet to go with that collection. So this one is the cute thing. Then I also picked up. Two sheets of the uh, crepe paper. And I'm not sure what collection this goes to. It goes to the toy box. And I like to use these for like journaling cards and little minis and stuff. So I got two sheets and there's like a front and then there's the back. And they actually sell their paper by two sheets. You know, you have to buy two sheets. So for that kind of stuff, it's kind of good because there's a front and a back. Then I had all, um, already gotten the basic gray out of print collection and the place that I had purchased that from, they didn't have any of the embellishments. So I ended up getting the stickers. I really like those. So I picked those up. And then I guess by accident I picked up the rub ons for that collection as well because usually I don't pick up rub ons, so I got those. And then the last thing that I got was the Graphic 45 Curtain Call collection. And again, it's just old paper. You know, I'm not gonna open it because everybody has seen it. So, uh, they had a really good price on it, so I couldn't pass it up, so that's why I got it. And, again, um, before I show my wrap, I'd actually purchased some of the, um, advertisement bags from Jules on YouTube at the Jewel Box, and I'll have her information below. Uh, 
she has both the smaller bags and the larger bags and I think she sells them in quantities of 30 so I purchased the smaller bags and the larger bags from her so I got those I will share my rack that I got in the package. There was a glue pad and a glue stick. It's the Martha Stewart. That. She gave me some of this really pretty trim. I'm not sure if this is Frog Feathers trim or what this is, but it's really, really pretty. I love the little rosettes. She gave me this really pretty twill like ribbon that says Merry Christmas. It's really pretty. Really cute. And then there's this really cute little picture frame. to alter. Some more pretty red trim. It's kind of got like a uh, a rope look to it kind of. I really like that. Some awesome zipper trim to make some awesome zipper flowers. This looks like the Maya Road zipper trim. And Cute little piece bling. Some pearls, which would be great for stick pins and charms. She sent me some really cute little paper bags. Love this color. I don't know where she got these. I don't know if these are the recollections or not. They don't look like them. I'll have to find out because I really like these because they kind of have a denim look too. They're cute. She sent me some little dauber tops for the top of uh, paint bottles and stuff, which I will definitely use. And then some more bling. It says home. And that one says friend. And then she sent me some like um, ephemera, like journaling tags and stuff. And let's see. This one says family traditions. This one says, tell me about you, and what were your dreams and goals, and then this one is, what do you remember, and what was your family like, some really neat little journal cards. And she sent me some really cute little um, rub-ons. And it's funny because I just got this collection from Cosmo Cricut. It's the Earth Love collection. I didn't get the rub-ons. So those will be perfect for that collection. And then she sent me two of her zipper flowers. She sent me that one. And she sent me that one. I think they're so cute. So that is my wrap from her. And I will have her information below. So you can check out her 
YouTube channel because she does awesome work. She does some really, really neat mini albums and uh, she's getting ready to reach 100 subscribers and I think she's going to do a gift away of a smash book. So, uh, if you've not checked her channel out, you might want to check it out and subscribe so you'll be the first to uh, be notified when she does the gift away for the smash book. And like I said, she does a really awesome work. And then another friend from down at the, uh, my local scrapbook store, The Corner Crop, um, she uh, has been uh, doing a lot of work on uh, Makes the Cut, and um, which is a program that you get to work with your Cricut machine. And um, she did a card, and it was an Apple card, and I told the owner to tell her to bring it to the next crop, so she brought it, and it's just adorable. That is the card that she made it's for a teacher, and um, she told me I could have it. So I was like, oh, are you serious? And she said, yeah, sure. And, you know, I'm not a teacher or anything, but I just think the card is just adorable. So thank you, Sherry. It's really, really cute. So that is that. And that's all I have to share for right now. Again, thank you to Tanya. She goes by Ala and Scarlet on YouTube. And thanks to Sherry for the card. And uh, my next video will probably be in regards to the stuff that I got at CHA. I got a buttload of stuff. Freebies and goodies. Stuff from classes. And I'll share that with you guys. So I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.